And tonight we start with new information about the Dallas business hostage standoff. Dallas police identifying the suspect as 30 year old Jose Torres. Right now he's in jail, charged with aggravated kidnapping, but his legal trouble may not be over. Gabriel Rojas live in Dallas with our top story tonight. Gabriel. We came when Ivan Lopez showed up here to get back the truck that a thief took from him at gunpoint. He had no idea that it was tied to a hostage crisis that had customers at this Walgreens fearing for their lives. His stolen green Ford pickup truck was a welcome sight for Ivan Lopez, and he wasn't the only one relieved by the time his family found it in the Walgreens parking lot. My parents called me. They said, hey, uh, we were driving down Hampton and Ledbetter, and we saw your truck and a bunch of police. Witnesses tell us a man jumped out of the truck after pulling up to the Walgreens and ran inside the store with police close behind him. Everett Irving was sitting in his own truck by the store's entrance when he says officers chased the suspect with their guns drawn. So they dropped the guns, and they asked him to get lay down, stop, lay down, stop. He, did, he continued through the store, and that's when they hollered he had hostages. Police say they were already trying to get the suspect to pull over for a traffic stop when he made it to the Walgreens. Customers inside say the store was full of people shopping, including children. Sequana Upshaw was toward the back of the store when she realized something was wrong. And then the whole crowd at the front of the store said he got a gun and they started running to the back of the store. Officers surrounded the building and brought in the SWAT team to negotiate with the gunman. After some tense moments, the suspect surrendered. It turns out police have been looking for that same stolen truck since they say it was used in an armed robbery at a nearby Jack in the Box Saturday morning. Lopez says that suspect, seen in these photos, is the same man who stole his truck the night before. He just approached us uh, walking down my friend's driveway with a um, pistol around his waist and uh, he just said, give me the keys. When Lopez heard news reports about his truck and the Jack in the Box robbery, he hoped for the best, but he didn't expect all that followed. It was a matter of time. I think once he got, once they got his picture on the news and my truck, it was, it was just a matter of time before we found it. Now at this point, police have not confirmed that Jose Torres is the same suspect in the other two incidents. For now, the case remains under investigation. We're live in Dallas. Gabriel Rojas, CBS 11 News.